help America continue to be a virtual cash machine for prescri prescri prescription drug makers, one biotech from Israel has not taken any chances that it, it works to get an oral diabetes drug onto the market. Explaining now what they're doing that is very different in the industry is Nadav Kidron. He is the CEO of Oramed Pharmaceuticals. Nadav, great to see you. Thank you. Nice to be here. First of all, let's explain to people what exactly the product is that you have right now that I believe is in stage two of the FDA trials. Walk me through this insulin capsule. You see, since insulin was discovered in 1922, the only way to deliver it was via an injection. Today there are a lot of alternatives, but the most simple way that people use to take drugs, which is just to take a pill, you know, was not available. Why? Why is only now can we have an insulin pill? The reason is very simple. Because of the peptide structure of the insulin, because of its size, it's impossible to deliver it orally. If you would have gone to medical school, the professor would have told you, impossible to deliver peptides orally. And now Oramed has a breakthrough technology that will enable the millions of diabetics out there to be able to take insulin orally. You say this has been in the works now for as long as 30 years. As I mentioned, you are now in stage two with the FDA. You still have one more stage to go. But how successful have the trials been thus far? Well, the trials were very successful. And otherwise, we wouldn't have continued, right? But uh, the idea is, and, and that's part of the reason why it's such a revolution, we don't have a new drug. What we have is a way to deliver insulin, you know, that up till today was done via an injection, to deliver it orally. So what Oramed has developed is just a delivery method. And once we saw it worked, the chances are that it will be continued until the markets. One of the things you've also done is you've changed the rules in the ball game in terms of how to get the proper funding to get this product out there. How have you done that? Okay, listen, you know, I sit here and I listen to this beautiful show and you're doing a great job. And Thank you. I'm going, to, I'm going to pay you later. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to get it before. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, the world the way we know it, it's not here anymore. I mean, companies have to understand that today we're sitting and we're talking about a different world than two and three months ago. And companies in cooperation that will be smart enough to understand it sooner, they will survive and will outdo the others. So you mean access to private equity funding is almost obsolete. So in this, this situation, how, did you, how are you getting your funding? What kind of deals are you doing? So the classic way of doing it is that you want to keep it to, you want to develop your product to as late as possible, and then you do a deal with a big pharma, or you start launching it to the markets. But we realize this, that with our oral insulin, we can actually, we have a huge advantage because the market is so huge that each territory, each country can have a tremendous value to it. So instead of sitting and waiting and trying to raise more money for the development, what we do at Oramed is we actually we're looking into some territory, territories such as emerging markets and we speak to companies, local companies out there and we tell them, you know what guys, let's do a deal right now. You may have to pay less. It could be that at the end of the day, we at Oramed will do less than if we would have waited but it opens up a totally new channel of funding for the company, which did not exist and I think wouldn't be thought of until today. All right. Well, that's pretty great news for you. Nadav Kidron, CEO of Oramed, good luck. Congratulations. I'm sure all of that funding hinges on your ability to get it past the next stage, but keep us up to date. I will definitely do so. All right. Thank you.